I'm Sam, and this is Amazing Travels. Week five, I'm reporting live right now from inside a vehicle, which is currently in Austria on its way to Italy. Yes, that's correct. But before we get to that story, Monday, I went to a pub quiz with Alex and his friend Martin and Martin's friends. It was pretty interesting. I got like two questions right, which was pretty impressive, you know, because the questions are in German and most of them I didn't know. But the questions were really hard, so the fact that we got last place, like it's really not a big deal. Whatever, I'm not bitter or anything. Tuesday, I had the interview with that Anglo Info Berlin company. I met this lady at a bakery. She was an American lady, Stephanie, she, very nice. I talked for about an hour about myself and the job. She basically just wanted someone reliable, me. She wanted someone trustworthy, me. Basically, I you know, ticked all the boxes, so hopefully it works out. I just have a good feeling that I did well enough and she wants to give me the job because she said she's willing to wait until I get my visa. That's a good sign. If she already said she's willing to wait, it kind of means that she wants me, right? I'm gonna check back with her this week and see what's up. Wednesday I did mostly visa paperwork, and then Alex came home and we saw the Bayern game together, which was going pretty sour for Bayern until right at the last minute, when Thiago scored this incredible goal, like one of those ones where you fall on the ground and kick the ball over your head. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Pretty successful game, which is good because otherwise, you know, Alex might not have slept well. And nobody wants that. He's listening to me right now. <laughs> Thursday was a bunch of packing, getting ready for the trip. What was special about Thursday was it was Natalie's birthday. So Alex's sister had her 21st birthday, officially legals in America now. No point in going there before, I suppose. Went to the Italian restaurant downstairs, Il Monello. Very delicious. I had some um, thin spaghetti with mussels, shrimp, and like some other kind of seafood in there. It was really good. Went home, slept well, so that Friday we were all ready and refreshed for our road trip we got in the car and headed to the first location which was a secret location on the way we stopped at his grandparents house grandparents super adorable like cutest little german little grandparents like so cute they kept giving us candy and stuff to take with us on the trip it was like they were trying to like one up each other like his grandpa gave us chocolate and then his grandma came out and she's like yeah but i have this whole basket of candy you can choose from it was really sweet. That was in Eisleben, and Eisleben is the place where Martin Luther was born. You know, German guy who translated the Bible into German and nailed something to a door of a church. That guy. After the Abuelito's house, we continued on our journey, and I found out we were going to Amberg, where Alex's aunt lives. We got to Tanya's house. We were ready for a night out, but honestly, we were too tired, so we kind of just kicked it. Saturday, Alex took me to one of his favorite German cities, Regensburg which is a very pretty city, super old. There's stuff there from like, from the year 175. Oh, 179, correction, 179. I love old stuff, so that was the highlight for me. Glad I got to go there, hadn't been to Regensburg yet. It's very nice of Alex to take me. Got back to Amberg and we had a delicious dinner that Tanya had made. Oh shit. Sorry for that small interruption. We are now back to some amazing travels. We got back from Regensburg and came home to a delicious dinner. It was traditional Bayerisch sour sausages that are boiled in water, pepper, and like some seasonings and a lot of onions. We ate it with real Bayerisch pretzel, salty pretzels. It was pretty delicious. Oh my god, wait a second. I forgot to mention that in Regensburg, I ate the most delicious pastry I've ever tried in my whole life. Warm, fresh baked, apricot, yogurt peach oh my god if i could have one of those every day for the rest of my life i don't think i would need any other substance but <sighs> life isn't perfect so we'll move on after dinner we kept drinking some beers and i learned a cool way to drink little schnapps oh cool there's a castle in front of me that's a castle i want to live in a castle can we live in a castle no. answers no people like I said, life isn't always perfect. After some beer and some schnapps, naturally, the soul wants to go out to party and to dance and to do all those things that make you look bad in front of your parents. Just kidding. 
So we went to this club called Tenet. I ordered this Jägermeister cocktail, which sounded really good. And I tried it and I thought it was pretty good. Everyone else thought it was disgusting. It was a little on the sweet side. So by the time I got to the end, it was kind of like, Ugh. I didn't think it was that bad. Plus it came with a glow stick, so winning. Glow stick was awesome because then I raved later on the dance floor. I had been dying to dance and thankfully Tanya and Alex were super down to dance. This Alex, was forced to join me but it was really fun and then we thought the night was over you know we had drank a little dance a little more and we're leaving and like okay cool so we're heading back to the car we think except tanya and alex don't roll that way and we had alois alex's uncle as dd so took advantage of that situation we hit up i think another four bars take a shot boom knock it back move on to the next bar take a shot boom knock it back move on to the next bar take a shot boom and then we finally ended up at the last bar, which was an Irish pub. At this Irish pub, the girl was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not serving anything else. Come on, we just want a shot. Is it okay? She's like, okay, I'll serve you guys a shot. So we're talking to her and you know, she's speaking like perfect German, perfect Bayernish. She's like, so where are you guys from? They're from Hamburg, Alex is from Berlin. I'm American. She's like, no way, I'm American. What? <laughs> no, you're not, you liar. And so then she switched to speaking English. Another castle, what the fuck, Austria? ADD much? So she switched to speaking English and we were like, no way. Basically, the girl was really cool. We invited her to drink a schnapps with us and she was like, hell yeah, let's do it. She also said we were the most pleasant late night people that she has ever had come to the bar in six years. So that's pretty impressive. Woke up on Sunday and got ready to go to this buffet. It was like a Bayerisch buffet in uh, this restaurant in Hamburg that makes its own beer. Very cool place. There was so much to choose from. They even had a crepe maker. Afterwards, we walked the city for a little bit until we went to the city museum, the Stadt Museum. We saw a lot of cool stuff. It's very cute. Like over a thousand years of history the city has, so it's an old city. Afterwards, we went to a bar and saw the Bayern game. Bayern won 5-0. to zero. Basically, Frankfurt wasn't playing. Byron played itself. Didn't get to watch the Super Bowl because I had to wake up this morning. I hope the commercials were good. Hope you guys enjoyed them. And now for the week in review. So we're packing for our trip. <laughs> he hates yeah. his reality TV <laughs> show life. <laughs> but Does it, it would look, look nice to me, right? Road trip is beginning. That is us leaving our street in Berlin. And we are continuing on. As you can see, it's getting snowier and snowier. Now, these are pretty nice windmills, if you ask me. I need to show everyone this half of a van. <laughs> really, what is that shit? The road continues to be pretty. Look at those dead trees, but the green grass, a nice contrast. This is Halle, one of the cities in Germany. It is one of Germany's larger cities, over 100,000 people. And now we are on the way to Alex's grandparents' house. As you can see, a lot of snow everywhere. Yep, pretty cool. And this is a little village, Eisleben, where Alex's grandparents live. And also Martin Luther was born. Oh, yeah. Thought the sun was pretty there. And here's a nice road. That's my driver. <laughs> where are we again? Regensburg. Regensburg. Why is that called Regensburg? Because the river, because the river that leads up to the city is called Regens. Actually, Regen River. And we're on a burg. Probably not burg, not burg. Burg means mountain, burg means I don't know. So now we are in Regensburg. This is one of the worst stands. So like you can buy really good worst in there. Very delicious. And those lines marked how high the water got from the river. Crazy, right? Every time they would rebuild it. This is a pretty bridge overlooking Regensburg. And now we are walking the little alleyways of the city. Has a lot of very cute small alleyways. It's really cool. I love getting lost in them. Here is a Platz in the center of Old Town, Neufahrplatz. And this is a church in the middle. This is the Regensburger Dome, Alex's favorite dome. And now we are just looking at pretty buildings. That's the dome again. Very, very pretty. This was the building built in year 179. It was like an old Roman entryway to a castle. Pretty crazy. This is the building built in 179. 179. There's no thousand in front of it. Just touched it. Hasn't fallen apart yet. 
you know, you gotta touch history because um, that's the only way you really appreciate it. This is the castle in Regensburg, more specifically the basilica next to it or attached to it. This is the inside, very pretty, lots of gold. And this is the castle on the outside. Now we are walking around it through the gardens, having a very lovely time. This is the worst thing that Tanya made, really delicious. And those are the German pretzels. This is how you take that little schnapp shot. You put the cap on your nose, chug it, tap. Who's the Florida Gator? <laughs> really? Show us. Oh. <laughs> Who are you again? Florida Gator. <laughs> Alex had a gator suit for fashing, so obviously I had to try it on. This is the buffet we went to, the Bayadish buffet. All very yummy stuff. That's the brewery part of the restaurant. A very nice soup I had, the meal. And the crepe I was talking about, really yummy. This is like the smallest hotel ever. It's in Amberg, pretty cute, right? And this is the cathedral in Amberg, very pretty. People having breakfast on the balcony like it's not cold outside. It's not. <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> Go get you. No, I wasn't guilty. You were guilty. No, I wasn't. You're still guilty. You were guilty. No. A very nice artwork made by the city of Amberg. Loved it. In my hand, I'm holding a 300 plus year old actual cannonball. Cannonball. It's really heavy. And it's the only one that they found from this war with someone Spanish in 1703. And it's just here and you can touch it with the book. <laughs> we are inside the city's museum right now and this is a replica of two very old things. One was a little candy shop and the other one was the, um, what is that word? Apoteca. Oh, pharmacy, right. No wonder people used to be afraid of dentists. Look at that stuff. Find anything cute? Let's see. Ooh, bend over. This is clearly not my size. <laughs> <laughs> we watched that killer Bayern game to end off the perfect weekend. Ooh.